this person is too connected to you this person is too connected to you shalom the lord bless you welcome to purpose and marital bliss with pastor honoring i have a word for someone god says he is too connected to you and this word is coming to us we are going to see several scriptures then let's start from Isaiah chapter 43 verses 1 to 2. It says, but now God's message. The God who made you in the first place, Jacob. The one who got you started, Israel. Don't be afraid. I've redeemed you. Someone, that's God telling you. God says he has redeemed you. That's good news for someone. He says, I have redeemed you. I've called your name. You are mine. When you are in oven, when you are in over your head, I'll be there with you. When you are in rough waters, you will not go down. When you are in between the rock and the hard place, it won't be a dead end because I am God. Your personal God. Come on, someone. Did you hear that? He says, I am God. I am your personal God. Ah, He says, I am God. Your personal God. I don't know how you see him. Maybe you just see him like the almighty. He's your personal father. Your father. Your God. Your personal God. Hey, he is your personal God. He is your God, your personal God, your personal God. Sometimes you feel like you are alone because you don't know this connection is too deep. He says it's not about any other person. It's about you. You got to personalize this relationship. It's not about any other. It's not about the world. It's not about your neighbor. It's not even about your friend. He is your personal God. Not even about your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. He is your God personally. He pays special attention to you. No, no, no. He ah, he has your name written in the palm of his hand. Ali and Akabar, you are the apple of his eyes. He says, I am your God. God, your personal God. Ah, oh yes, Lord. Come on, is this what? Am I the only one excited? Is, is, do you feel this word? Do you feel it the way I'm feeling it? Because I better not be the only one. He says, I am your God, your personal God. Someone, you've got to make this heavenly father personal. He is your father, your personal father. He is your friend, your personal friend. He is your God, your personal God. The Holy of Israel, your Savior. He says, I paid a huge price for you. Hey, did you hear that? He says, I paid a huge price for you. Oh, all of Egypt with rich Kosh and Seba thrown in. That's how much you mean to me. This love is genuine, guys. This connection is too strong. This love cannot be ignored. No, no, this, this is not the kind of love your prodigal had and then they still left you or your ex had for you and then they still left you. No. He says, that's how much you mean to me. That's how much I love you. I sell off the whole world to get you back. Trade the creation just for you. This love is too much. This God is too good. I will worship him forever. And love him forever because this God is too good. Oh, I will worship him forever and love him forever because this God is too good. Oh, I will worship him, I will worship him forever. And love him forever because this love is too 
deep, oh. This love is so deep. This love is too deep, oh. I know this love is good. This God is so good, oh. He's been good to me. This God is too good, oh. I'm gonna praise his name forever. I worship him forever because his love is so deep. I will sing his praise forever. I raise him all forever because my God is so good. Don't know about you, but my God is too good. Oh, oh, this God is too good. Oh, his love for me is deep. This God is too good. Oh, oh, this God is too good. Oh, God says, Kalazika Baruana say his connection and his love for you is beyond what you think. He says, this is how much I love you. This is how far I can go for your sake. This is how much I can give even the world just for you. Just so you alone. Guess what? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son for that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Even if you were the only one in the world, he's saying here that he loves you so much, he will still have come. Oh, Balazika Barasiana. Aliana Banasobra Shakaliana. Romans chapter 8, I believe around verse 32. He says, if he did not withhold his only begotten son, but gave him up only for you, what is it you think you need that he won't give you? If he could not withhold his only son, his beloved son, his only Allah, he says, but he gave him up for you. What is it you think you need that he cannot give you? What is it you think you've done wrong that his love cannot cover? What is it you think, what offense, what sin do you think you have committed that the love of God cannot cover? That the love of God cannot cover? Oh, Psalm 139, he says, where can I go from your presence? Where can you go from his presence? He says, if you enter, ah, Liana Kabarasiana, even in hell he is there. Wherever you are, Psalms 23, he says, Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. When you are in the valley of the shadow of death, he is there with you. You are going through the fire, he is there with you. You are going through the waters, he is there with you. Ali Anakabarwasha, he says, even in hell you can't hide from him. He is there with you. Wherever you are, he is there with you. He says, I will be with you always. Where can you go for his presence? This ah, Aliana Kabar, don't let religion tell you you made a mistake. You sinned, and now God has not God has departed from you. No, he is there with you. Aliana Kabarasiana, Psalms 103, verses 13 to 14. He says, As a father loves and pities his children. So does the Lord does the love and pity those who fear him. He says, for he understands that you are made of flesh. Let, don't let religion tell you you are a sinner. Uh, 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 and now you can't, you, you don't have a relationship with God. He is waiting for you to run to him and say, Father, I messed up. He says, come boldly before the throne of grace and, 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 and find mercy and obtain, or obtain mercy and find grace in times of need. Do What do you need from God that you are feeling like you don't deserve it? He says you deserve it. He says he went an extra mile just for you. He gave up his life just for you. He paid a high price just so you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but this connection is too strong. You can't break it. Not even your weaknesses can break it. Witches and wizards are not strong enough to break it. The devil can't break it. If he had his way, he would have taken your life, but he can't do it because he is with you. It doesn't matter. Life circumstances have put you in a tight corner, but God said, yes, you were in the fire, but I was with you there. Oh, la zika barasiana. You were under attack. You were under attack. You went through, you walked through the rally of the shadow of death. But God says, fear not. I am with you. 
I am with you. This connection cannot be broken. You can only ignore it out of your ignorance. But he is there. Waiting on you. Beckoning on you to come. He says his love for you. Cannot be broken. This love is too deep. This connection is too strong. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can change it. As a matter of fact, he loved us even when we were yet sinners. I don't know who this word is for. I don't know where you are right now. But as I'm talking to you, the love of God is engulfing you. The love of God is embracing you. Someone's all of a sudden, you are going to feel that warmth embrace. That's the Holy Spirit enveloping you and giving you the assurance that you are loved. It doesn't matter who rejected you, who broke your heart, who betrayed you, who stabbed you in the back. God says his love for you is reliable. What do you think you need that he won't give you? His love for you is reliable. And he demonstrated that love by giving. He demonstrated for God's so love that he gave. The love hasn't changed. Whatever you need from, from him. He is still ready to give you. The love hasn't changed. It hasn't died. It doesn't need rekindling. It doesn't need help. He is still the one waiting for you. His heart is still beating for you. This love is too deep. I don't know who I'm talking to, but if this word blessed you, please just check the description box if you feel led to connect with an offering or a seed. Just drop it, it in, check the description box for cash up or PayPal. Or you can just hit on that super thanks. And the Lord will bless you and keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. And the Lord be gracious to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.